All right, thanks, Kylie. Asking for help at work isn't always easy. Career coach and author of Red Cape Rescue, Save Your Career Without Leaving Your Job, Darcy Eichenberg is joining us. Uh, good morning, Darcy. How are you doing today? Uh, good morning. I'm great. How are you all? Oh, we are good. We're hanging in there because we're a company as well. We're a business. We're all feeling that, you know, that stress. Uh, many businesses have fewer workers now, so a lot of employees are feeling a little overworked or tired. Um, so how can you help or how can you ask for help without, you know, acting like you can't do your job? Yeah, asking for help is such an important skill that we really need to learn and practice and actually teach each other because every job has value. And if you if your job didn't have value, it wouldn't be there anymore. We've seen the change in our marketplace of jobs that have been replaced. So recognizing that there's something that you were needed to do, that's the thing where you need to focus in. So if you're doing other things, we've got to start asking for help to get clarity again on the thing that's most important that you're bringing to that company. Okay, uh, so you know what are the ways that you can that you can ask for that help? Um, I know I, I saw in the in the email. You know, knowing your value is a big one. No, it, it, you absolutely have to understand your value and, and really connect it to the bigger picture. Connect it to something that is around, and not just about you being overwhelmed or having a lot to do, but about what's important for the company. What are the things that when you are doing your best work, when you are doing the work that's really focused and important, that how does that help the company? Maybe it helps the customers or clients. You have to get clear again on that and not just make it about you. Okay. Um, and what are some of the things that you can do at home or are there anything that, anything that you can do at home uh, that kind of affects your day-to-day -day life when you go to work? You know, I know when I get home, sometimes I'm, I'm still stressed, <laughs> you know? Well, of course, right? Because we're all one, we're one person. We're, it, our life and our home, and especially for many of us who are now working at home full time, uh, it's all blurred. So as we think about the idea of overwhelm, as we think about the idea of asking for help, we've got to extend that into our home lives too. We've got to ask the people around us, our family, members, maybe our friends. There are things that we're doing that are not what I call in your superpower space. And some of those things we just have to learn how to drop, delegate, or just ditch altogether. <laughs> All right, good advice. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm asking for a friend here, you know, uh, are, are me days okay? <laughs> Our me days are absolutely okay. And it's good. Again, if you need that time, you have to ask for it. Don't sit and fret on the Sunday scaries. Like <laughs> say, what, who can I ask for? And asking teaches other people how to treat you. So don't hesitate to ask. All right. All very good tips. Thank you so much for being here, Darcy. Hey, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Hey, everybody. Debbie Hernandez here from Home Depot.